Welcome back to the Character Corner with your hosts, Chris and Deepom here. Um, we're back. Uh, you're going to be getting a lot of... Um, we're not going to get them all at once. We're going to be recording a lot of uh, Character Corners. Uh, we might be mixing, mixing, mixing and matching them. So if we ever reference a Character Corner coming up, then you get a Character Corner, but it's not the one we reference. It's because we probably... We, we record these out of order. <laughs> and um, we're trying to get a whole bunch of them recorded as soon as possible. And we're kind of... We're, we're basing what we record based on how easy or hard they are and how much time we have. So um, <laughs> that's, literally how the, that's literally how it's happening. We'll peek behind the curtain. Right, right. And uh, they'll be released closer to like things like, what we'll do, like who knows when we're going to record Thor, but Thor will come out closer to when we do, because yes, we're doing Thor. Those two parts will come out closer to when uh, Thor Ragnarok comes out. Well, who knows? We might start recording them next week. Who who knows? And who even knows what week this is when we're recording this? So, <laughs> uh, like this is, today we're doing the Inhumans. Um, now, I should say up front how we're doing this. Uh, when we're doing the, doing the Inhumans, I, 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 we're basically focusing on the royal family here. We're not really doing the new new humans and people like you know Lunella, uh, Lunella, and or or uh, Camilla Khan. Or we're not doing those. We're, we're, we'll, maybe at one point we'll do a separate uh, character corner that includes those kind of characters. But for now, we're taking with the royal family um, and. Um, we're also going to be kind of setting up, I guess we can say as a teaser, because as we go through this, we're going to end up, we're going to start with talking on a larger part, Cosmic Marvel. That's going to kind of, we'll fill it in a little bit with Thor too. Um, and I, at some point it's going to happen. We're not going to do it right now, but I, and I haven't cleared the deep on yet, but I already know this. Uh, when we do the fantastic, we're going to do the fantastic four at some point. And um, that'll include them. I'm, it's going to happen, so, um, yeah. So, we're going to... We'll get into the Inhumans, but we're going to first start with kind of giving an overview of Cosmic Marvel, because I actually think that there's a lot of bad Inhuman stuff, particularly the earlier stuff. It's really bad. I, I think that the... But here's the thing. It gets better the more closer they get... The, the further away they get from Earth. When they start getting to Cosmic Marvel stuff, I find myself being way more interested. Yep, and and that's the thing. Like when you make them Earth based, the humans aren't really interesting. When you make them, when you send them to the cosmos and you start involving the Kree, the Scrolls, and you basically have a huge intergalactic war, now you have my fucking attention. <laughs> so um, I told told Deep I'd, I'd let him uh kind of lead the way with this one. So uh, Deep Bomb kicks off. So we first meet the inhuman. Well, I guess we talk about the humans are. <sighs> So there's a race of aliens called the Kree. Without getting too far into it, they've been at war for millennia with the Skrull. And part of the Kree kind of ethos is that the supreme intelligence, the one uh, kind of mind that rules the planet, rules the empire, excuse me, decides what's best. But the Kree find out that they've hit an evolutionary ceiling and that's the basic way of combat they they're fighting these scrolls by becoming better than them mm -hmm. having hit the ceiling they start seeding worlds for potential and uh on earth they met some cavemen and altered them and there you have the beginnings of the first inhumans and they're basically ge genetic experiments exactly they're yeah they're genetic experiments letter retcon to be weapons Mm -hmm. Later, it kind of be replacements. I don't know the whole thing. Yeah, we'll we'll get into we'll, <laughs> as we get into more of the humans. That's why I say we'll stick with the the cosmic stuff first. I think that's where we is actually where we end up leave, leaving off to. Um, mm -hmm. But um, yeah, you have the Kree, the Scrolls, uh, the Shi'ar Empire. Uh, the Shi'ar. The Shi'ar comes in. Um, yeah. So uh, how far you want to get into some of this stuff? I mean, again, we're just kind of teasing. Um, yeah, I, I mean, let's let's just acknowledge that, there's, that this is a war that's gone on for centuries. Yes, and it informs most of their culture's decisions. Right. Yes, and it's just kind of important to know that that the Kree are part of a larger galactic pantheon. Yes, and an important one. It's so one of the the dominant empires. I think it's like five empires that rule the galaxy. Mm -hmm. 
and the Kree are one of them. Yes. And they have border wars with the uh, the Skrull. Right. So, okay, so let's get into the, the Inhumans. Uh, we talked about uh, them basically being created as, again, we'll, we'll say they're weapons. Because, that, I mean, that's very true where they get retcon in. It's basically what we, we've established them as this time. Again, when we talk about the Inhumans, um, at this point, we're talking about the royal family. And the royal family basically consists of uh, Black Bolt, uh, Medusa, Gorgon, uh, Triton, uh, Karnak, Crystal, uh, Maximus, uh, Black Bolt's brother, Maximus the Mad. And I always love the fact that they always include Lock- Lockjaw as part of the royal family. <laughs> and well, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> well, that's the other thing about Lockjaw is. You don't know. I don't think if I, and I, I'm No, they, ne- they never I have. They never have. They've said it maybe or had to retcon or change it. They've never told you. Because if he's going to be a royal family, that's just someone who got ex- exposed to the mists. Exactly. And that's what happened. Yeah. And so, when I say exposed to the mists, we get to why they're the royal family. Well, well, See, in humans, yeah. they're not all super powered and super strong. Well, they're all super strong, actually. Yeah. But they, I, they, they have what I call uh, the Batman starter kit of uh, superpowers, where Batman doesn't have any superpowers. But you know he does have quick reflexes. He has some kind of abnormal strength. You know, so I call it the Batman. They have the standard Batman level superpowers where we're just stronger and quicker and more agile than the average person without without the without the mist, without being exposed to the mist and having any kind of powers. They just have that. So, yeah. And then at a certain point, you get to be chosen to enter the mist, and it's become a plot of many in an human story. Some would say all of them. Uh, every single um, one. But who gets to choose or who gets exposed to the mist. And uh, when you come out of the mist, you, you're, they say your true self is revealed. Mm-hmm. And you're imbued with powers. And because the royal family is the royal family, they've all been through the mist. They all have powers. Um, well, so except for Karnak. Out, excuse me? Except for Karnak. I was, yep. Okay. Except for Karnak. Yes. Who will get to? Who's my favorite? He should be everyone's favorite. Karnak's amazing. Well, okay. So but, before we get any further, I, I, I just want to say it all at the top. Just so we know, particularly, I would say, through 90% of their history, the royal family are not good people. They're kind of assholes. And they're very unlikable. I'll get into why they're unlikable, but they're just... They're supposed to be heroes, but not really. They're not. So... Just saying that when you, so when you say that you you like it, it, it's it's not hard to find Karnak to be. I, to me, it's either Crystal or Karnak. I think those. Yeah, are the, well, Crystal was. She's I know. portrayed in such a way in those Fantastic Four books that she they're, they're, she she's designed to be liked. Right. Well, she's the most. She's the most. I would say well adjusted in human. Put it that way. <laughs> she's the most. She's the most humanized one. Um, but there's a, there's a great yeah. who then marries uh, Magneto's we'll, son. We'll get we'll get yeah we'll we'll get into all that. It's great, but um yeah. Anyway, so go ahead. I'm sorry. I just had to say how unlikable they are as as a, as a group. No, and they've all got these powers and abilities gripped to them by the mist, but they all kind of it's different. Triton is physically changed to adapt to live underwater. He's Morgan a fish. Has... He's just a. I'm sorry. He's just a fish. He is the most worthless one out of all of them. That's he so literally mean. he he literally has. To, it, there is a, there is a um in uh the I think it's volume three of Inhumans. It's like the one where uh uh Ronan uh Ronan the Accuser shows up. It's like the I think they call it the Inhumans versus uh Kree. I think it's the second one after the um the the the, the first limited series or something like that. They okay. uh he uh, <laughs> there's a scene where him is either it's him and Karnak. They are sent to this this war the, this the, the the be spies and work in the war front. He gets stuck in the mud and he literally becomes worthless because the mud is like poison and he can't do anything. It's not supposed to be funny, but I sat there reading that panel and I was dying because I'm like, you're a fucking, you're fucking Klaus. You're Klaus from fucking American Dad. If you don't have your water with you, you're literally a worthless human. What are you doing here? Like, I'm sorry. Just had to say. He is literally. That was so, that was unnecessarily mean. But, but But am I wrong? I didn't say you were wrong. I just said it was mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is mean spirited. And look, <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm not the biggest fan of these characters, partially because of what they tried to do to them at the expense of my beloved mutants. <laughs> but Triton is kind of weak. I can't lie. Um, God, he 
Yes. Gorgon is super strong and has like what are you like ox feet? It's like know, bull feet? bull legs and hooves, and he can create shock waves like earthquakes. It's he stomp he stomps really hard. And what is Maximus's power? So it's like a sonic like it, it's he's like mind control, I believe, and suggestion. Yeah, right? it's like mind control and suggestion. Uh, but it doesn't always work on everybody, and sometimes, it, yeah, it, it's, it's it's got like, yeah. Maximus is really smart, and he, and he's really that's all the thing. He's really smart, and he's crazy, and he's crazy, and he's basically the builder of the family. Um, and he builds a lot of stuff, and that comes into play later on, as uh, I think the writing on the Inhumans gets better, um, and kind of explains to you why Maximus keeps his brother. I mean, uh, Maximus, why Black Bolt keeps his brother around. Um. You, obviously, we get uh, so we talk, we talked about Crystal. Crystal is a uh, uh, Medusa's sister, and she's basically an elemental. She has, um, I basically call her like she's Captain America. Uh, she's not Captain America. She's Captain Planet. It's fucked up. She's, she's female <laughs> Captain Planet. <laughs> That's good though. She and, is. I mean, it, I mean, I'm not wrong. It's not know. a bad power set to have. No one's no one's no one's ashamed. Look, of look, my, my favorite my favorite thing there is I can't I gotta find uh, the the volume. It is. But at one point, um, they go and and I think it's during the secret secret invasion, and they need to get they need to get this part from this uh this this tribe on on Earth, and her and Medusa get in a fight, and Medusa's all like, "I'm your queen, I can do this, I can do this with my hair," and 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 Chris has a reminder, it's like, "Bitch, I control everything," <laughs> and basically whoops her ass, and it's like, "Now you're gonna listen to me now, cause I can." Yeah, like, angry crystals a problem. Yeah, angry crystals a problem. I'm like, yeah, I, I, it was that panel makes me go. It's like, yeah, why does not anybody listen to fucking like Medusa when, like, she's talking to you like you're a child? Like, you control everything. Like, and and it's weird because uh, they show her power. Like at one point, um, like she they she uh she's able to control air. She like she creates a, uh, an air pocket so that the entire royal family can survive in space because they're they're going to meet the Kree outside of their ship. And she's like, yo, just create a uh, create an air pocket, and we all sit there. So it's like, she's she's extremely powerful, maybe even overpowered at some point. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. and that's why they kind of have to write her as a damsel a little bit. Yeah, because if you had her in the middle, like it's the same way. The reason Black Bolt can't control his power, you have to cripple the character a little bit to make it interesting. Which which comes into play as a why, particularly early in human stuff, is is so bad, and so it's cringy. It's cringy bad. Um, so yeah, Medusa who uh, has really strong hair. It's the dumbest superpower like in the history of the world. She has really strong hair. Chris, Chris, it's the dumb, the dumbest. I think Triton would 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 would, would have some <laughs> has no because there's no you know what because there's a setting where Triton's helpful. There's <laughs> no setting in which your super strong hair matters. Fuck one. Your sister's an elemental. Why are you even here? Get back on the bus. Well, you can't she, be used on this mission. Well, she's here to fuck her cousin, who happens to be her husband, Black Bolt. Yes, you heard that right. Black Bolt and Medusa are cousins. You know why they're cousins? Because that's how royalty and aristocracy work. Don't cringe at the parts that make you uncomfortable. This is just like y'all's beloved um th- that show. Oh, Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. No, I mean th- this this is one thing where people say that hey, I'll give you the Inhumans really are uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe's uh, Game of Thrones because they're all fucking <laughs> and they're all cousins. <laughs> like no, seriously, a Black Bolt and Mac- Maximus is, like is, is in love with Medusa and 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 wants Medusa for himself. He's Ma- he's Black Bolt's brother. Black Bolt and Medusa are cousins. That means Maximus and Medusa are cousins. Bunch of cousin fucking going on here, guys. It's a bunch of cousin fucking going on. It's Arkansas with superpowers. It, it really is. It, it, it really is. It's, 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 <laughs> it's fucked up. But it's, it's not. I, I'm not going to apologize for Arkansas. I, just, not, I, I, it just, I probably shouldn't have said that. Whatever. Uh, there's, there, I mean, this is uh, it's not it's not wrong. And then Black Bolt, obviously, you know, has a very powerful vocal co- cord. The Silent King. He's a, and, and and he can do a, like they they explain his power sometimes that he can he can channel it. He has what is what is his punch? They they, they had a special thing they called his his the punch he can do, which like is like I don't know what it was. Some fucking stupid. And you're just like, 
All right. But this is where basically say Max uh, uh, Black Bolt is the most one of the most, if not the most powerful in human, because just him using his voice can literally destroy planets like they've made him so powerful and make him so fear. And so the whole thing with, with, with Black Bolt is that it takes him an incredible amount of control and he uh, so that he does. He can't even whisper a sound. He can't make any fucking noise. If he does, he can he can. You can destroy the world. So they have, they have, it, it, and this is what leads to early in human stuff being so uncomfortably bad to read. Sexist and weird. It, yeah. And we haven't even gotten to the slavery. Oh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll save the slavery because that's always a, that's just a, yeah, that. That's whole... Someone's listening to this and said slavery. Oh no, the slavery. They're... <laughs> Someone is listening to this. The inhuman recoil. The, 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 the early in humans. I don't know what they were thinking because early in humans is really like they're the Nazis of the MC of the Marvel universe. Yes, they think they're the master race. They yes. think they're so much morally superior than everybody else. Uh... If the Nazis were if the Nazis were like 15th century England. Well, because here's the other thing too with the Inhuman stuff, and again, we, we talked about a little bit with the the, the Terrigen Mist, and and they literally they, they have a genetic council. They, yep. they 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 control their genetics. They control who goes to the mist. Like they're they're very structured and like they're Nazi. Like this is what the Nazis did. Like this is like, and then they have an entire slave force called the Alpha Primitives. Which wow, <laughs> I'm not kidding about this. All right. This is all you get. All this stuff early, and, uh, and this is in Fantastic Four. This is in Fantastic Four. So, so the first appearance of first appearance, the first one that shows up is Medusa. She shows up in, I want to say she shows up in Fantastic Four thirty six. Yeah, that's what it is. As a member of the frightful, no thirty eight of the frightful four, right? Yeah, I think it's I think it's the frightful four. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Gorgon shows up in forty four. Then the rest of the royal family shows up in forty five as the Inhumans, and then. You know, they kind of retcon everything. And they kind of explain, I think, in, in Avengers 95, they kind of explain how everything happened, where everything came from. Uh, I'll give you their fir- the first real background on the royal family, how everything came about. Um, and that's the interesting thing about the, the, the Inhumans. They ran a lot of stuff in, in, in the Fantastic Four. This is where Crystal uh, falls in love with uh, Johnny Storm, uh, Human Torch. Uh, they also ran a lot of things in, like, the, the, like the four, last four panels of Thor. Mm-hmm. They would have them as a, also included. In it was the, a backup in, feature. Backup features in, in, Thor, in Thor issues, um, and again, even that stuff that that stuff isn't too bad. Like that's early, I think it's early Jack Kirby stuff. So it's, it, again, it's not bad. Even the Alpha Primitive stuff is it, is not good, <laughs> but it's like it's enough to avoid it. What get what got me though was because everybody always talks about this series. It's the um. The graphic novel, the uh, the nineteen ninety eight, the nineteen ninety eight to ninety nine. Jay Lee, Paul Jenkins. Uh, yeah, that that Knights. series, the one that you always see when you see an image of the Inhumans. It's the 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 it, you see it and you're like, oh, okay, that's the Inhumans, that's the royal family. And I read that that graphic novel thing, and that it 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 it's it's won awards. It's people say this is good. Mm. It is not good mm. whatsoever. Uh. And it, it is not. It makes the Inhumans seem like dicks, and it makes the Inhumans seem so bad. Like it makes them. See- Basically, what happens is the Inhumans they have set up uh, uh, their, their the name of their 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 city, uh, Atelian. They they set it on uh, the old remains of Atlantis, and the humans have now seen them and. Uh, Maximus is working, you know, through his deals that he's always trying to undermine his brother. Has is working with uh, humans on the outside to kind of subvert uh, the city and and get them to attack. I can't remember what the nation is that's attacking the Inhumans, uh, but they're doing that. And what drives me crazy? A couple things drive me crazy about this. One, you have the whole Alpha Primitive Primitive things, which. When you're reading it in the Jack Kirby times and you're you're seeing the artwork, it doesn't seem as bad as when you have modern art and you're like, oh no, you guys really have slaves. Yeah. Like, these are legit slaves. 
And the way they write them, it's like, well, no, I mean, they were bred for this purpose. Motherfucker. These are yeah. slaves. Like, this is this is bad. This is really it won an Eisner. And 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 it won an Eisner, and they write it in a way in which you're supposed like where they're trying to make it seem like the inhumans aren't the bad ones. And then the, and the way they resolve because because Maximus leads a now I'm trying to get into a villain agenda shit here. And Maximus is definitely a bad guy. But Maximus is always u- using the Alpha Predator. Even in the 95 issue, the Avengers 95 issue, he again uses the Alpha. He, uh, I think he transforms three Alpha Primitives into a, a new higher form. I think, what did he call them? The, the Tricon? or something? I can't remember what they called them. And he tried to lead a, a rising then. It gets quashed. The, he's back in, 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 in this graphic, in, in, the, in these 12 issues, doing the same thing. And basically what the the Inhumans have done is they've basically been like, oh, no, what we did was we freed them. We freed – they basically – you know what they did? They did what um, they did what America did. They freed the slaves, but they enacted Jim Crow laws. So you still got to work in the – you still got to work in the sub in the sub city. You still got to work and keep the machines going. You still got to do all the hard work. And, oh, by the way, you can't be up here with the rest of us. Because what happens is Maximus has, has tinkered with the terogenesis process. So one of – they had this process where one of these uh, young uh, uh, young inhumans that's going through the process, he uh, – his process was tinkered with. And so they think he's the alpha primitive. And they drag him off into the substructure to be one of the alpha primitives to the point that his parents were crying like he was like he has died. So when you're when you're yep. when you're when you're reading this the, the, these 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 issues, you're like, oh wow, you know, I guess he went through the process and he died. And that's what you find out no, he didn't die. He lived. They thought he was an alpha primitive. Basically, excuse the language, he came out um mentally handicapped. And so instead of just saying, oh we love our son instead they threw him in the basement. It's like it's like the equivalent of throwing your kid on uh, the uh, steps of a, a a firehouse. Yeah. Even beyond that, um, I, and I can't remember their names. Uh, one of the Inhumans uh, gets changed. she gets flight, and that's like a huge honor to get to be able to be a flyer. It's like there another one. They don't know what her powers are. She just has really long fingers. And at one point she goes, "Can we still be friends to the the girl that got changed to flyer?" She's like, "No, I don't think so." So they they're already showing you that there's a structure in how they get power. Like it's a very classist society. And again, these, we're not talking about enemies. We're talking about the Inhumans themselves, the stars of the, the book. stars, the heroes of the book. Oh no, heroes, like I, I can't do. She later finds out that that that, that Inhuman actually has the the, the the power of of healing. And now listen, I was like, I didn't, I had no idea you had that power. Oh, we can be friends now. These are terrible fucking people. Terrible fucking people. Like, and also the story doesn't actually, nothing actually happens. No, nothing happens is what happens is they build to this climax that never, you never get the, 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 the thing. Maximus never does anything. Maximus stands and broods a lot. And you get that a lot with Maximus, especially early, um, I mean, Maximus, uh, Black Bolt. You get that with early Black Bolt a lot. Because they had built him up and his he's so powerful, um they Black Bolt doesn't actually do shit. Nope. He just stands there and looks stern. Chekhov's Chekhov's mouth. Yeah. Except no one ever fires. He never fires. Uh when until is it we happen? go to space. Until and then you because you know what? In space nobody can hear you scream. So I hate I, uh, you. I'm, but it's true. I'm so mad at you right now. Hey, you set that one up. You just laid it. I am so you mad at you right now. Laid that one right over the plate. I had to take. Wow. It. How can I not hit that slow pitch coming out the plate? What is wrong with you? I don't know what's with seek, you. I seek help, sir. I don't know what's you gotten into go me last. I don't know what's gotten into me last. I, it might be the lack of sleep the last couple of weeks, man. I'm just, just wired, man. I'm just doing it. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, and that's what happens. It's like nothing. Actually, happens. I think in here, what ends up like what what, what ends up happening is Mac, uh, they 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 make Black Bolt seem like he's this great uh, strategist where and using Karnak, where they decide they're going to use uh, the attacks that the uh, humans are doing to then jump 
uh, Attilian to, I think they, this is where they go to the Himalayas. Is this where they go? Yep. Yeah, they go to the Himalayas. And they move the entirety of the Himalayas, and they give Atlantis back to Namor, and that's, that's what they do. Um, I'll be honest here, guys. Don't read that shit. It, I, I, I read through it waiting for something to happen. I read those 12 issues waiting for what happened. Um, the next, and Jay Lee's art isn't great. It's not. I don't know. I don't get the hype. It's not. Um, the next series, which is basically Inhumans versus the Kree, same thing kind of happens there. Oh, I skipped this. I, you should. I mean, the only thing you really know is Ronan shows up to basically uh, confront the Inhumans and use them for the weapons that they were meant to be used for. Uh, and he uses them to go in against the um, who is it? Um, one, one, not the Kree. He goes after who? Go, uh, not the, not the scrolls. Who, what's the other race that was in there? It's the scrolls, the Kree. Shiar. Oh, uh, the Shiar. Yeah. So he goes. After, he uses them to infiltrate them. And he, actually, I think he's going after the. The ultimate goal is to have them kill uh, Leandra. Uh, and it doesn't work. It doesn't. They don't do it. Uh, and uh, once again, the whole thing is make. It, it's written to try to make you feel like Black Bolt and Medusa are these king and queen they're making the right choices for their people and they're they're he's he's, he's got these hard choices and he, he doesn't want to make it but he has to but the truth of the matter is he's he's not he doesn't do anything he eventually challenges uh Ronan uh for the crown um and he wins and and then Ronan agree, agrees to just leave like that's literally what happens yep Ronan goes okay I guess I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Uh, I'm I'm done. That's that. That's it. That's the end. Of the, that's the end of the story. And I'm just like, are you guys fucking serious right now? Like that's that's it. Nothing uh, else. Nothing else happens. Like it. It. Can we skip ahead to good in humans? Yeah. Hold on, real quick. Cause I want. Cause I want to. I, I want to read this thing that they try this to is do. Painful. It, I mean, it really is. The art is never really that great. Uh, it's painful. Cause what ends up happening is in the, in the story. Uh, Medusa and Black Bolt run into, oh God, I can't remember what the character name is they run into. And he's basically telling, he's supposed to be in line for, to, to, to be king of his people at one point. And he's telling them, oh, well, you know, you gotta be a good king. And, and I guess the moral of the story is basically Black Bolt heard that and he's got to, you know, they always write Black Bolt in his earlier stuff to be, he's so pained and he's trying so hard to maintain and his silence for his people is so that they can live. And it's just like, you guys are fucking, you're fucking lame. You, it, it's just <laughs> like, it's, that's not, it's, it, it doesn't fucking That's not work. a character trait. That's yeah. annoying. It, it, it just is, you know, it, it, and, and, and what ends up happening is the people, their people always suffer for it. People always die, and they make bad choices. Like again, not to go back to you know villain agenda thing, but Maximus is right in a lot of this stuff. Like Maximus, you're not wrong. Your brother's full Maximus of is crazy. He's crazy, but he's he, he's seen at, at least here's the thing. He's crazy, but he admits he's crazy. The entire family's fuck. I mean, Black Bolt's fucking his sister. I mean, his cousin. So I'm just come on. Um, also, we forgot to mention at some point in here. Uh, I think this might be in between the um, those two books. Uh, there's another series that, again, you can just you know. I'm just trying to go through the history of this. Um, Medusa uh, and Blackpool have a son, and they, ra- you know, it, the genetic. The, even though they're king and queen, the, the genetic, the genetic call the council says that they can't because the son might have the same genetic default that Black Bolt, that uh, Maximus has, although. They later kind of find out that Black Bolt is cra- uh, Max was crazy because of something Black Bolt did later on. Which is whatever. But anyway, they have a son. <laughs> they have a son uh, who's also fucking crazy. His name is, I think, Aurora. I think. I think. So it yeah. doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's get into the good stuff, man. Like, I'm just saying, get through all that shit. It's a lot of bad shit you got to get through. Um, And then we go to space. Well, not before we get to space. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Because there was a series put out called New Avengers Illuminati. Yes. And it said, why wouldn't the seven most powerful men in the Marvel Universe try to rule it? Absolutely. From the shadows. And you get to see these these guys who help avert uh, a war with the scroll, but at least a secret invasion. You get to see them deal with the Beyonder. You get to see them send the, decide to send the Hulk away. Mm-hmm. And 
that seems out to, to be a really bad idea because really the Hulk idea. comes back. Yeah, he's not happy. He's very displeased. And it's a different Hulk. It's, it's a stronger Hulk. And I mentioned this because he beats Black Bolt. It, it was it was done early to establish the power levels of Hulk because that's how big of a badass Black Bolt is in the Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. Secret Invasion happens. Oh, actually, so before before Secret Invasion, there's a couple yeah. things that also happen there. So again, going back to if you listen to our Secret Empire thing, events mattering. There's um so Crystal we really talked about had you know early relationship with uh, Human Torch. Uh, later on, I want to say it's. Uh, when did she she ends up meeting Quicksilver? Pietro, yeah. When he's an Avenger. When he's an Avenger, I want to. I, I had the issue down here. I can't find it right now. Um, let's see. Where, oh, I'm sorry. Let me see, da, 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 da. She ends up she ends up uh, falling in love, and it, it's kind of weird because Johnny gets get, gets left for the bad boy, the crazy guy, <laughs> uh, which, which turns out to bite everybody in the ass later on. Everybody, everybody constantly. in the ass. Um, so there they uh, again. Crystal's a weird one because she's she's. Um, Inhuman, but she's also been on the Fantastic Four. Not really a member, but she hung around with it. And also, she was an actual full time uh, at one point Avenger as well because right. her husband was an Avenger. Uh, they have a <laughs> daughter, Luna, who at the time has not gone through the mist. Uh, I'm bringing all this to say they eventually break up. I think at one point, uh, Crystal does cheat on on uh, Quicksilver. But then again, if you are married to Quicksilver, that's probably your best option to begin with because he's not. And, a and you person. also you also get like ten years of Marvel stories where they're divorced and sharing custody, and like Luna will just show up in X Factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and you're like, oh yeah, I'm with Dad this weekend. Yeah. Oh wait, you do have a kid. Uh, so you get that. So I'm saying all this to say, so House of M happens. Uh-huh. Uh and uh, because the Max the Maximoff twins are just they're special. They're problems. They're, They're fucking problems. problems. They should probably be wiped off the face of the earth. Uh, the, uh, especially, especially, especially the girl. Especially the girl. But in this case, you find out that it wasn't her father that's portrayed this. It was Quicksilver. And so, for those who don't know the Hotsman storyline, uh, Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, whispers three words that changes the world: "No more mutants." And in doing so, she. No, wait, no, no reason at the end. I apologize. She changes the world at someone's behest right. so that mutants won. Yes. They're the ruling class, House of M. Magneto rules the world, the, the, uh, Pietro and Wanda and the royal family. And everyone and thinks that it's Magneto, but it really wasn't him. Everyone assumes it's Magneto. It's fulfilling Magneto's wish because what they feared was that the Avengers had decided it was time to kill Wanda. Mm-hmm. And while they... They were undecided. It probably was time to kill Wanda. Um, yeah, they were not wrong. They weren't wrong. If they were going to kill Wanda, they weren't wrong. Because it turns out it was Pietro. He said, make it better. The only way Father would ever love us, enough to have, be, have enough time to not fight to love us, is if mutants finally won. Then again, if I had twins that were the maximum of twins, I probably wouldn't love them either. Got to side with Magneto on this one. What a shock. You're siding with a villain. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, That's so strange. And, and the, yeah, a villain against two other villains. This is my shock face. A villain against two other villains. I'm just saying. Canceled out. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, House of M happens. Wanda ends it with saying no more mutants, and they decimate the mutant population on Earth. Completely. And some mutants lose their... Lose their uh, Lose her powers, including her brother Quicksilver. Which leads us to Son of M. Uh, all you need to know in this one is if you didn't think that Beatrice was a dick before, you will after this series. Um, yeah, this is why. So I was reading this when, because uh, I was reading X Factor when this came out. Because mm-hmm. a lot of this ties into X Factor stuff. Yeah. And wow. What a di- Basically, what he does is uh, he can't deal with the fact that he doesn't have his powers anymore. So he ends up getting um, beat up, and Crystal finds him thanks to Lockjaw. Well, we never said Lockjaw is based on their transportation. He uh, teleports. He's a teleporting dog. 
Um, so I guess. Yeah, I, I. They've never. They've never explained what he is. They put him on that disrespectful ass Avengers pets thing. They like, did, but I'm like, he's got to be. A, a, he was. He, so he was in the mess, didn't he? He got to be a regular human that trained. Right? Eldra turned into a fucking door. I, I, right. So it's like. <laughs> but but you know there what? Are a lot no, of weird but, here, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The idea, because at first you're like, well, the, no, the, the, they treat him like a pet. There's no way they would do that. Then you think about, they, they are keeping slaves, though. So I can definitely see them <laughs> knowing that this was used to be a regular-looking person who is now a teleporting dog. And they what, are if it's now- an, what if it's an alpha primitive they put in the mist? Oh, fuck. I, they are such assholes. God. I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put anything past them, all right? Like, you cannot put anything past the Inhumans. They are giant fucking dicks, all right? The royal family are fucking terrible people. Um, anyway, Crystal shows up, rescues, uh, takes, um, takes, takes her husband back to the city to get him healed up by one of the healers. And um, Quicksilver petitions Black Bolt to let him go through the mist. That'll give me my powers back. And they're like, uh, that's not how this works. You're not inhuman. <laughs> like, what, what's wrong with you? It's not what you're doing. Um, and what ends up happening is, I think he. So does he go through the mist at first? One, yeah, he does it one time, right? Right. Yeah, he does it the first time. He goes to the he goes to the mist. He comes back and he's faced with a double of himself. And what he finds is that he he got different powers. He can now go into the future. A little bit, and so what he's seeing, or going uh, he time travel a little bit, he's now coming across somebody, uh, a version of himself that was, I think, nine days in the future or something like that, from nine days in the future. And uh, long story short, Quicksilver ends up stealing uh, some crystals. He steals some of the Terrigen crystals, crystals, and he steals his daughter back. Yep. And so this is not just turned into a theft; it is now turned into a kidnapping. Uh, what it is. And he tries to convince himself otherwise because he says that Luna wanted to come with him. He then uh, has her basically huffing these crushed up crystals. So she goes through Terra Genesis. So she gets powers. And she's like an empath. And I can't remember exactly what her, her exact powers are. They haven't really. They don't really. She can, she can, she can see feelings and colors like synesthesia. Almost. Right. Yeah. So again, sometimes the Emi Hammers just have really whack powers. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but the, 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 so you have this whole thing going on here and obviously Quicksilver is crazy. Uh, at some one point he even, I think he injects the crystals into his body. Like he, he, he implants them into his body. Um, but that's not the real story. The, the real big issue here is the U S government finds out about this and starts conf- and confiscates these crystals. Now, um, the crystals I would say are kind of like uh, the Terrigen crystals are kind of like. Uh, vibranium for Wakanda. It, it, it's, it's what defines them, but they have a limited quantity of them. So losing these crystals to to the Inhumans is a fucking problem. Like you know, uh, Crystal wants her, she wants her, her her daughter back. She wants to find Quicksilver and, and cure him. Uh, Black Bolt and Medusa and the rest of the Inhuman royal family is just like, uh, we need those crystals back for the survival of our race. Like this right. matters. Like this is going to turn the this is this is this is going to affect Terrigenesis. This is going to affect like they have it all down to a science. Again, they're like fucking Nazis when it comes to their genetic code and their science. And not having these little bit of crystals is, is apparently life altering and life changing for them. Matter of fact, I think they even said that at one point um, there was an error in one of the, one of the kids they had going through Terrigen. He died, and it or it, it was a mutation or something. Something happened. And like it's because you know this was this has been altered. We're already suffering problems. We need to get those crystals back. And what ends up happening is uh, the U.S. government says, no, they're, they're ours. Fuck you. You know, uh, they uh, Quicksilver obviously being a dick, uh, but they yep. got they, they got Luna back. And Medusa and, and them and Blackboard are like, well, you need to give those are ours. You need to give them back to us. The U.S. government's like, no, fuck you. We're fine. And so uh, you finally get Black Bolt doing something. He whispers, "War." I think it's his, I think it's war. And they basically declare war on uh, the humans because we want our shit back. 
And that leads into the silent war. And this is basically the humans again being giant dicks, uh, yes. going after going after the humans because they want their um, they want their crystals back. Uh, they um, they eventually get them back, but there's a cost. Uh, the humans uh, Gorgon is goes through secondary terogenesis because he's captured by the humans and they put him through terogenesis again. So he basically turns into uh, now he's not just a regular human with with bull legs. He's kind of gotten kind of feral a little bit um the in, the humans find out that they can go through terror genesis but and they can control a little bit but they eventually die so what they do is they recruit like a a squad of marines to go on a suicide mission and one of them is basically uh a nuclear bomb and blows up half the fucking city at the same time um maximus has been convincing medusa to have luna Kind of unleash, uh, uh un- they try to convince Medusa that he can be cured and Luna can cure him. And what ends up happening is Luna ends up actually removing the blocks that allows yeah. Maximus to kind of. And, and, and the secret war, uh, the secret, the secret war thing, is, uh, the silent war thing is kind of weird because I'm still not. When it ends, um, Maximus has taken taken the throne. Uh, half the city is destroyed, but next time you see them again. Max, uh, Maximus isn't on the throne, and Medusa and Black Bolt. Are, I don't think I don't know if they ever really explain when they, how that changed. I don't know. They if, didn't. They, they, they didn't because all of a sudden Black Bolt's a scroll, and you don't actually know how this happened. Wonder how this happened. Yeah. So Silent Wars always been. It, 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 it was. It's, I, it's one of the it, few. Time, I, I take out a continuity. Honestly, I'm like, look, none of this stuff could have possibly happened. I I, I want to as well, but everything else matches up because, like, yeah. like Son of M and some of Son of M happened and. Some of the things in Silent War definitely happened, but they never explained how Maximus got off the throne and Black Bolt got back on. I, I don't know. It, it Silent War. It maybe had, it was it, the, maybe they revealed Black Bolt as a scroll. I don't know. I'm, I mean, yeah, yeah it, you're it's, right. It's kind of weird because it, it happens around the same time. Like all that stuff happens around the same time. And at the same time, uh, Black Bolt is also sneaking off with the Illuminati every now and then. So, um, but again, I, I think some of them and the Silent War they're actually again not bad reads. Not the greatest stuff. Way better than the earlier stuff, though. We're warming up to good stuff. Um, so secret, secret Invasion happens. And there's a Secret Invasion in human storyline here. Because Medusa's like, uh, the scrolls have my husband. And the scrolls are definitely have her husband. And they're going to use him. Uh, they basically found a way to hook him up. They're going to hook him up and use him as a weapon that the Kree always... Uh, you know, envision him to be. They're hooking him into a giant weapon and they're going to use his voice to basically, you know, destroy cities. And uh, the royal family comes together and says, we're going to arrest you, Black Bolt. And you you finally get the Inhumans going where they need to be, which is dealing with cosmic shit. And I enjoy it. I actually enjoy it. What do you think of it? I, I did, but, oh, but mostly it's for me, I think I'm such a fan of what comes next. And it's like, Ooh, what's this going? Like, I'm yeah. just, I'm, I'm like, on my, I'm, I'm on my toes. Like, just, yeah. Give me, give me, give me, no, give, go me ahead. Uh, go ahead. give me war Kings. Yeah. I mean, th- th- this is where it leads. So basically what happens is when, 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 when Medusa, and again, you get that it's a great panel with Medusa uh, and, and, and uh, Crystal and Crystal basically going, you you want me to call you queen, bitch? I can kill you. Like I'm an you have hair, I have elemental. I can set your shit on fire. The fuck's wrong with you? You know. Um, but basically, what happened? They rescued you, Black Bolt. Um, and it's it's weird. It, you know what's really weird about it? I love how they they found a way to make uh the, to to get Black Bolt to crack and and to make him angry. And they were like, yo, you know, we replaced you as a scroll, right? So you know that scroll was in your wife's bed all that time, right? You know she was, you know. He was there a while. He was, he was there, and I'm like, that's that's fucking evil as shit. That explains everything that happens next. It it does, and um, because um, <laughs> for the first time ever, the humans have had enough. Black Bolt unleashed, and the humans decide that we were created to be weapons. Let's be fucking weapons. And not only do they basically wipe out the scrolls and and send them fucking like 
hightailing the fuck out of there. Like, there is it War Kings where it's like is is it the first issue of War Kings for Inhumans where you have it started with the scroll and the scroll commander like yeah I'm the last of the, uh, I had the fleet and stuff and they're like something's coming what is that coming I don't, and they and the human it's just the Inhumans wiping everybody it's a city, out. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's the city. entire city, a flying city, a flying city. They they turn Atelier into a flying fucking spaceship that can annihilate entire fucking uh, uh, fleets. But they don't stop powered there. by powered by the voice of the king. Yeah, powered by his, uh, uh, created by Maximus. Because Maximus, uh, you know, he's crazy, but he's also really good at making shit. And he saw how the scroll were going to weaponize his brother. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, you know what? Uh, that's not a bad idea. Which also, be, which also ties into a lot of stuff that happens down the line with some of those bombs we see in uh, Secret Wars. Yes, definitely. Say, like, hey, we can we can use that. Uh, and so, but you know what? They don't stop with the scrolls. Nope. Because they stumble in the Shi'ar space. Yeah. And they don't respect these boundaries. Oh, because fuck you. <laughs> Uh, and they end up where they want to be, Hala, the Cree homeworld. Mm-hmm. And Black Bolt takes his seat where he belongs. Yeah, Ronan, Ronan the Accuser basically, is basically like, I'm just keeping the seat warm for you. I know you guys oh, are thank coming. thank God. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yo, I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you guys to realize what you guys were. Come down. And um, they basically... Um, yeah, the Kree are completely overrun by any humans. Which is funny because when they first showed up the the few volumes ago, the the Kree did this to the Inhumans. They they completely overrun the Inhumans. The Inhumans yep. have no no answer for them. They take them all down. Uh when the Inhumans turn the tables on the Kree, it is not even close. Like Ronan is no. basically like Ronan at first is trying to fight and he's like, you know what? No, we're done. It's not gonna work. We're yeah, no. 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 Let's uh we're 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 not gonna win this one, so let's just uh, let's just wrap this one up and say uh, they they won, <laughs> they won, uh, and uh, the Inhumans and Black Bolt take over the entire Cree, Cree Empire. I believe this is also when, so uh, they also say to, to to foster peace. I think this is that's what it is. So. To help them get Black Bolt the first time before they rescue Black Bolt, um, Medusa makes a Medusa goes to the Kree. She goes to Ronan the Accuser, says, "We need your help because we need to find Black Bolt. You're gonna help us." And he's like, "Why would I help you guys? Because we are a weapon. We're, we'll, we'll we'll help you. We're, you're losing the war with the Scrolls. You help us. We'll help you. Also, um, you know, you you can we'll give you we'll give you Crystal as a, as your wife. You can marry Crystal." Chris is like, the fuck you are. And eventually she ends up having to. So uh, Ronan and, and and Crystal end up becoming, um, get married. Uh, they don't, well, they do get married, but the wedding doesn't go smoothly. Yeah, it does not go smoothly. No, it does not. Because the Shi'ar are led by Emperor Vul- Vulcan, who is the, hold on very tightly, kids, the third Summer's brother, who is later revealed. Um, he's just coming off a miniseries featuring my favorite X-Man, uh, Havoc, and uh, the, the Star Jammers, called um Kingbreaker and he's decided to expand the Shi'ar Empire and to take everyone else over and the Inhumans destroying two of his ships did not go unnoticed. Three, three of them. Oh I'm sorry. Three. This petty motherfucker. Yeah, three. 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 You could have had a conversation over three. Right, right, right. <laughs> if it if was, was a wreck of wedding. Right. If it just, if it was just one, then we could have a conversation. Yeah. So um yeah. And um War of Kings. I love this series. It's again like the inhuman. The inhuman stuff gets stronger and stronger as they go along. Um. So I'll, again, take it away. It's. I mean, it is Vulcan versus Black Bolt. It is Star Wars. If both sides had actual like full fleets, <laughs> it's. It's amazing. It's all the co- and it's so funny because I read I read the Cosmic Marvel looking at this. I read all the Thanos stuff and the, the Nova Core stuff. And so this is kind of the next phase of that. And it's 
I, you, it's your first time reading it. Give me your impression of it. What do you think as a newcomer to all of this? Um, no, I, I really liked it. Um, I, I think for me is I'm still kind of new to Cosmic Marvel. So it, it was good on its own, but now I want to go, and I, I, I can already see this with everything else. We're, 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 I'll, I'm looking at some of the stuff we're, we're looking at going forward with uh, some of our character corners. We're definitely going to be getting into a lot of Cosmic Marvel um and uh i like it this is why i say i think the inhumans it makes sense to make them more this um and even when we get into to some later issue with the, the humans what they've done now is they kind of put them off the royals are now sticking to the sticking to the stars right and you now have the, re- the 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 new humans or the the ones that are you know are earth based doing that. that's how you do this because the royals should always have stuck to space they should it's always where they fit best. It's where they fit best. It's, it's these are the best stories, and that that Vulcan, uh, Black Bolt fight is. Yo, <laughs> look, look. Well, um, I, I, the other thing too is like, I, I, Black Bolt is interesting when you get to use him. You can't just sit here and go the Silent King. It's, it's the see? problem with uh, Hulk movies. No one wants to see. Two hours of a guy trying to fight off the guy we want to see on screen. Right. Right. I don't want to become him. That's why I bet the ticket, motherfucker, become the Hulk. Mm hmm. Come on. So, but yeah, that, that Vulcan. But we also get like, we get like Gladiator and like other, like we see yeah. his equivalent of Supergirl. Yeah. I think the name is Zenith. Mm hmm. And look. <laughs> I love Marvel for it. like that's just me. Um, War of Kings is actually it's, it's it's great. The lead up to that stuff like it's there's a lot of uh, again it just made me want to go and be like okay I you know what this is this is too much for just talking in humans like I need to go back and really sit down and really read because sometimes when I'm reading stuff like this I kind of skim through just to get the main plot points for the character we're talking about but I'm like. There's way too much in here. I need to go back and kind of get. The, I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you a reading order. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got. I got the. I got. Does it, does it start with annihilation? I believe so. All right, then you're good. You're golden. Yeah, I believe. I believe it does. But yeah. Um, yeah. There's. There's a lot. There's. A, there, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot there, and Black Bolt seemingly killed. Yes. And we get Queen Medusa. Mm-hmm. But with Queen Medusa and the loss of Black Bolt, you start to see problems with their control over the Korean Empire. Yes. There's unrest. Maximus is doing Maximus shit. Max, Maximus going to Maximus. The, you know, and he's got, now he's got more tools. He's mm-hmm. got the entire Kree. Because uh, their entire hierarchy, just like the Inhumans, is by genetic, uh, genetic superiority. Mm-hmm. So the aristocracy of the Kree are not used to having someone above them. And Maximus plays on that. But then we get Fantastic Four. Yeah. And we get Mr. Hickman and we get the Universal Inhumans. And when I tell you that Marvel loves to tell you to, to, to take a concept you think you know and expand it beyond your imaginings, this is what I'm talking about. So I... I... I, I'm gonna let you explain the universe of the humans. I I, I kind of understood it, but it's one of the things when I realized it was Hickman stuff. I was like, all right, this is the Hickman Fantastic Four stuff. I kind of want to table this for myself so I can. Cause I got. Have I still you still go not back. read this? I still have not read it, so I got to go back and Chris, read. Chris, I know. Hang up now. Just stop. I, I know. I know. Well, you know what it was. I was trying to. I know that once I read it, I'm gonna want to do that Fantastic Four character corner. Well, the thing is, you're gonna read that, and it's gonna lead directly into. You're gonna reread Secret Wars because it leads. I know the, the, I, I his know. second issue. He I calls this shot. I know, and and that's why I I, I don't want to. I th- that's the main reason why I've been holding off from reading it. Okay, and so so, so I'll in, go, the, yeah, in, go ahead. in this Fantastic Four run, there's a prophecy that's been handed down through a machination that I can't explain right now because I don't want to spoil it for you, you non-reading bastard. Um, <laughs> but it says that there would be four cities, mm-hmm. and. I can't. All right. No, so, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I, I've read a lot of this stuff, so I kind of know right. most of it anyway. So the Kree didn't just see Earth yeah. with these inhumans, these, 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 these deviants, these experiments. And it, which There's makes sense. Now, go ahead. It makes sense. It makes sense that they were experimenting on also not just Earth, but 
other intergalactical inter- intergalactic races and planets. Right. So it's revealed now that, and this is a, this is what we talk about when Marvel and the race history. Just expand on it. It's revealed now that there's five other races that are new in humans. They call themselves universal in humans, mm-hmm. and through their machinations, they're able to bring back Black Bolt. And now Medusa's got four other wives to deal with because each one, each race has a is wed to the Silent King. Yes. And which explains why Black Bolt is also like he. They keep t- and they and Marvel's always consistently done this. Like Black Bolt is unusually powerful for an Inhuman. Unusually. Again, remember he he was going to be used as a weapon by both the Kree and the Scroll to destroy planets. You Nigga, the, the the weapon that the bomb that went off that killed him in Vulcan tore a hole in the universe. <laughs> a bomb powered by his voice. Yes. I, I love the scene. There's a scene in um, in Secret Empire when, uh, I mean, Secret Empire, in um, uh, Secret Invasion in that book where he finally destroys the, uh, the scroll that was, the, the, doc, the scroll that was, that was uh, working on him. He literally whispers something and he, and the, the, the scroll melts away. He's holding him. He whispers something. And he literally just, it, uh, it's an amazing fucking panel. This is how in, insanely overpowered uh, <laughs> Black Bolt is. But again, by using the, the universal in humans, you kind of start explaining a little bit in, in, the, in the prophecies and what's going on here. So. 100%. And uh, so they end up being a part of some larger inhuman prophecy where they help save the Earth. And it's the war of four cities. There ends up being four separate Richards. Please bear with me. It's an amazing we, run. We don't, no, if you guys, if you've heard, I think even if you listen to our, if you were a premium member, you listen to our new Avengers run, we do get kind of into uh, the, what is it, the Galactic Council? That's what it is? Mm-hmm. The Galactic the Council. Council of Reeds. The, the, I, the Council of Ricks. Stop. I, I, <laughs> I, you cannot convince me that they did not get the Council of Ricks. And they didn't kind of model it off of the, the Council of Reeds. I'm sorry. It's, the Council of Reeds is much smaller than the Ricks. It is. It I, is. But <laughs> God damn it. But yes. You, I, you hadn't, now you put that out there. Now I can't unthink it. I, 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 good, because I don't want to be the only person with that in my, in my mind. So, anyway. So, after this happens, of course, because things are the worst, the Kree attack the planet Earth. Because before... <laughs> oh, I, I love the Kree. I love Comic Marvel. During this um, Fantastic Four run, Ronan kills the Supreme Intelligence. Mm-hmm. And they're forced to find a way to bring him back. And they end up merging two dead ones and becoming one larger Supreme Intelligence. And they demands that the entire Korean Empire head to Earth to destroy the Inhumans. And he says, why? Because they're a perfect creation. They are what will destroy us and replace us. They must be stopped. Of course, they repel the Kree. They, they leave Earth, and the Inhumans give chase. And then we kind of back off from Inhumans for a second. Until Infinity. Which is 110% about the Inhumans. Yes. Oh, it's a cosmic story, kind of. Oh, it's Avengers planet, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's returning Thanos of prominence. Yeah, that too. Thanos is on Earth. Looking for a son. Thane. Thane is an inhuman. And that means he goes to see the king. He makes demands of Black Well, He sends his emissaries first to Black Order. Oh, the, 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 I love the scene with... Um, what was the, 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 the Black Order guy that shows that? It was Clovis Glaive? Is Clovis that Glaive, yeah. Listen... I, I, I'm, I'm going to read the panel because it's just, <laughs> it's so good because they show up. He shows up, the Black Order shows up to the Inhumans, right? And um, he has so many fucking, let me see if I can find this. Because it's just, it, it's one of the, I'm reading, I'm like, are you fucking serious right now? Did you really just say that to them? So um, let's see. He shows up and he's like, uh, so it's no small miracle. Blah, blah, blah. A warning. This is Medusa talking. A warning for you, Clovis uh, Glaive. People have come before this throne before with demands. Many times it has cost them their lives. 
this line here. I yeah. wonder when you correct your children, do you threaten them with candy if they misbehave? Excuse me? You cannot threaten someone with some if with you cannot threaten someone with what they want. Show this queen how much we fear death. The uh the members of his of, of his of his emissary they are with him. They take their knives out and each of, and they all slit their own throats. I am one of I am I am one of the five. I do not frighten. Yes, you could attempt to kill me, but success would only mean another would follow with the same demands. My master will get will get whatever he desires. <laughs> Yo, and that's when they they, they they he demands that they they give the uh, the heads of uh, every inhuman uh, uh, between the ages of sixteen and twenty two because obviously he's looking for um, uh, Thanos' son. But like that scene right there is just I can't dude. We're getting the Black Order next year, nigga. We're getting the Black Order next year. In Infinity War. In Infinity War. Like, I, it's just such a badass scene. He shows up, it's like... Yo, thre- that's the thing about Infinity that people are always kind of disjointed, kind of blah, 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 a little long. The scenes themselves, it's a collection of amazing moments. Oh, like awesome. when Thor pushes his hammer through that builder. Yes. Like, it, Yo. They, <laughs> will you, will, do you threaten your misbehaved kid? misbehaving kids with candy <laughs> like <laughs> like I'm just I read that and was like good good god um that is oh, oh, okay um well damn um but anyway so yeah so then uh Thanos, Thanos shows up uh to confront Black Bolt cause he's waiting for the tribute and um how does that go he finds an empty city just a king in his throne and uh yeah <laughs> blackpool crashed that motherfucker yeah it sets off a terrorism yeah. bomb which yeah, has uh lasting effects again because events in marvel always have lasting effects this no ter- they don't chris <laughs> what do you mean house of him led to all of this in the first place uh, what again- do you mean secret invasion is why they had to wipe out the the scrolls, right? Um, like people don't get that. There are no scrolls left. Mm-hmm. The like in the Marvel universe right now, there are no scrolls left. The Inhumans literally wiped them all out. The Inhumans, they took care of that shit. <laughs> they, they, they literally you see wiped. pockets. You see like rogue scrolls once in a while. You see like pockets of scrolls, but the scroll empire, rap son. Because Black Bolt decided to make it so well, and it kind of goes back to the you know to, to take a, take a step back right now. It kind of goes back to, and, and and this is why I think it, it explains why it it doesn't make the earlier stuff that we skipped over or we talked about and was like it's not good. It doesn't make that stuff better, but it gives no. you it gives you some perspective on why the Inhumans never really cut loose. It's because when they do cut loose. They wipe an entire race, an empire off the map. And you're like, oh. And that happened because they talked about his wife. Oh, and, and in, front of, in, in front of his kid. Because don't forget, they talked about his wife and they threatened his son in front of him. And Black Bolt was like, okay, yeah, now. Those you're- are two bad ideas. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Consecutively in a row. Yeah, just that's just not. And so um, you see what happens. Uh, yeah, so Black Bolt um, sets off this Terrigen bomb, which basically leads us to all of our new humans getting created because it creates these, these giant clouds of Terrigen that go around the planet. Interacting with, uh, I guess, you are, are these like, are they saying these are this. There's lost tribes of inhumans on Earth, and then there's also just human and in, in, in humans that have intermixed and don't know they're inhumans, and they interact right. with the clouds. And, and this is where it comes from. This is how you get your Kamala right. Khans. You know, it, it, this is this is this is how that stuff happens. Um, and those characters. My clouds, personal my personal feelings about these characters' origins and notwithstanding, there have been some good characters come from it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's see. So this happens. There's a new. So, is there anything else you want to go with in, in with this? 
it's or it's weird because when they first do the new humans, the our human royal family is like a triage squad, right? Which I thought was like a weird decision to try to write them as. Like it's it felt like another attempt at grounding the Inhumans, which is not something a royal family excels at. Which is why I'm glad that the new series sees them go into space. Yeah. So so you get you get this Inhuman series, and I I I think that you know what it is. I think they had to do it. Looking back at it, I think they had to do it this way because you had to hand the baton off. You had to hand the baton off. So you have you have an, an Inhuman series. It's the one that doesn't have an S at the end. So just Inhuman is a series, and in this one, uh, there's also you get some some solo issues. You get uh, Karnak. He has his own book, which is a great series. It's a great series. So Karnak gets his own series. You get Inhuman, um, the Inhuman book. Uh, this is where Black Bolt returns uh, with Maximus because at, at this point, when the bomb is set off. Uh, people don't know where uh, Black Bolt is. He's kind of disappeared and, and left uh, Medusa with Maximus and the rest of the world family trying to put everything together. They've lost all their Terrigen. Uh, they've lost their city. Oh, oh, how they lost their Terrigen is actually pretty interesting. Um, I, in Humans vs. X-Men, they did that miniseries. It's not great, but it reestablishes them. Frost is a very, 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 very bad person. Yeah. And Medusa makes a decision to destroy all the terrors in this left because the terrigen is fatal to mutants yeah so i wasn't even gonna get that part but yep yeah so that's what they do so they they finally uh go through that and you're right uh we we get bad emma back because basically um that lead that that's part of the death of x of what happened with cyclops and madrox no one mentions madrox oh yeah madrox you're right you're right everybody nobody misses poor madrox um they also at this point i think uncanny and human this is before uh, Inhumans vs. X Men, Uncanny Inhumans. First of all, um, in in the the regular Inhuman book, when Black Bolt returns in seven and eight, they find out that he's been. I I I wasn't sure if he was under control of Maximus or he wasn't. I think he was kind of at that point. I thought he was kind of too. And you also get the fact that you know, Medusa's been sleeping with Johnny. Well, yes. So when well, that happens in, the, in in Uncanny Inhumans, they reveal oh, that. Sorry, yeah, yeah. But in, in 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 issue twelve of just the Inhuman book. Medusa basically tells Black Bolt he forfeited the throne. He's like, you can't just come back here. I've been, I've been the one saving our people. I've been the one trying to pick up the pieces that you made while you were doing all this other stuff. You don't get to come back. I've been the one fucking my sister's ex. Well, hey, 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 we'll get to that. (laughs) At that point, she hasn't happened. But she's like, yo, like you don't get to come back in here. You forfeited the throne. You don't get to come back in here and say you're king and share the throne with me. And um. Yeah, I was like, oh, good for you. I kind of like that because I'm like, yo, good, good. Because at some point, there needs to be some consequences for some of the actions the royal family does. And then Uncanny and Humans happens. And you do find out, because the royal family is messy as fuck, that Medusa is in a relationship with Johnny Storm. Uh, the Johnny Storm that uh, her sister at one point was in a relationship with. The Johnny Storm who her sister kind of still, kind of sort of possibly still has feelings for Medusa's fucking Johnny Storm. Messy. Messy, 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 messy. They, but that's just what they are. Like, I mean, in a way, it's probably a little bit less messy than fucking your cousin. Six and one half dozen the other. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, it's weird, man. I don't know. It's just... Um, yeah, so... um. And that, I guess it kind of gets us into the current stuff, which I, I, I picked it today. I picked up Inhumans Prime, which is basically Medusa and Black Bolt giving up being king and queen. They put... Uh, it's, them, it's them splitting it up so they can tell the two stories. Yeah, they put uh, Iso as uh, the new head of the Inhuman State, which, who's, who's in um, Secret Empire. You see, there's that one point in, I can't remember what book it is, but they even point out that she's oh, basically leading the Inhumans yeah. in... in, in, in um, in, in the Secret the, Warriors tie-in books is our, were amazing. I should yeah. have mentioned it when we talked Secret Empire earlier, but there's a Secret Warriors book with Quake and yep. uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur and yep. Karnak. Yep. It's great. Yeah, that's a really great book. I have that one as well. Um, uh, I'm reading... So I'm, re- I'm also reading... I don't know if you read this. Are you, have you read... Uh, the? I think Christopher Priest is writing this one. The Inhumans Once a Future King? No, it's the one with... He's, he's in the space prison, right? Well, no. That, so that's that's the Black Bolt book. Okay, what's Once a Future King? Is that this is, is the, that one, the Maximus book? No, it's the well, it's the Maximus and Black Bolt. Well, it's telling their origin again. Oh. So it's them before either one before Black Bolt becomes king. 
And so I started reading. I'm like, this is actually kind of interesting. I'm kind of liking this. And I think it's a short. I think it's a short run. I think it's only supposed to be like five issues. So I think it's like a mini series. So I'm I'm reading that one as well. And I haven't picked up the Royals yet. But uh, Al Ewing is writing it. And didn't he write Ultimates? So I need to. Pick Al that Ewing up. did write your Ultimates. I'm, that's why I'm probably going to read it. So I need uh, to pick that up. I know one of the big plot points is that somehow the Terrigen and Medusa figures out what she did, and her hair falls out. Oh wow! Yeah. So that that happened. Here's the thing too. Marvel Boy is there, and. I think because it's it, a whole other bit of messiness. Yeah, it's a bit of messiness there, but I think he's in. He shows the beginning of Inhuman Prime. Where he's like, they're talking about how the the Inhumans don't have um, uh, any more terror, and he's like, why don't they just create some more? Oh, that's right, they don't know how to do it. It's like so. Uh, apparently, the next the next story arc for the Inhumans is figuring hmm. out how to create new terror. Because like, yo, you can just create more. What the fuck? Why don't why aren't you? Oh, you don't know. You don't know what it is. So I think the whole thing with the Royals is them figuring out. What Terrigen is? Because right now, they basically what they've done is they reversed the roles of uh back with the Inhumans and, and X Men, where now the Inhumans right. they can't create any more new Inhumans because there's no more Terrigen left. So whatever right. the people is, wh- wh- whoever they they're just the doing X Men stories from ten years ago. Yeah, they 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 just reverse. This is this is um what is it uh what was it oh what was the House not one ninety eight oh it's gonna bug the hell out of me. Keep talking. I'm gonna figure it yeah, out. Yeah, but like, so, so what they're doing right now? So now you split it up, and you still get to tell the new human stories on 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 Earth, which I think is better suited for them because most of these characters are Earth based, and they've always been connected to Earth. Like this is why Kamala Khan's book is she's an Inhuman, but she feels naturally it feels natural when you she's read an her Inhuman stuff. from Jersey. Like, yeah, she's a new. She's, it's, it's, yeah. she's plugged into the world. Like the 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 Inhumans that we've always read are always so far removed from. Anything relatable, they work best in a sci-fi set. They like they, the they, new humans. They were. Super- I don't love the concept, but right. eh, they're here, and it makes more sense for them to be the inhumans on the ground. Yeah. That well, the thing about the the royal family is even the 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 the, the main inhumans. They were a secret society for so long. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew who they were. Like some of the some of the uh, uh, the other superhero teams did, but the world didn't know. Like that in humans book. From ninety eight, the first time the, the the first reveal of the Inhumans. I think that's why the book won the award. So people were like, "Oh, this it, 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 it's supposed to be how man reacts to something new and things like that." But I'm like, "Yeah, but these new people are kind of bad." Like I think at one right. point in that book, uh, the um, their uh, the 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 Inhuman embassy uh, emissary is like is is pleading with the the uh, UN, but somebody brings up the fact that but. Don't you guys have slaves? Well, the alpha primitives, they're not really they're not really human or, or people. They're bred like, for this. And they're like, but wait, that's actually worse. <laughs> like it, it's a, it's, a, it's an amazing it's, it's an amazing conversation because it's like the, the inhuman person's like digging themselves in a deeper hole, and I'm like, you just made it worse. You say that you breed them for this purpose? That's uh, okay. <laughs> so um but yeah, I, I think a lot of the newer Inhuman stuff is really, really good. Um, yeah, uh, and 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 I and I like it. And if this is what gets you to read Cosmic Marvel. Finally, let's do this. I'm glad. Yeah, no, and I, and I think that I uh, again, I, I started off like, oh man, I can't believe we're doing uh, reading some of this Inhuman stuff is really, really fucking hard to read. But as I got into some of the later stuff, I'm like, oh, I, I like this shit. I'm. I'm actually in, enjoying this uh, here. I want to check out the Karnak book. I actually want to check out the, the Black Bolt book too because I heard some good things about that. Um, yeah. But I definitely want to check out the Royal stuff because I feel like... And, and, and here's the thing. Again, I think everything leads back to the Fantastic Four. So I really want to start reading, making sure I you need just You need to stop whatever you're doing. Set some time aside and just read Hickman's Fantastic Four. I, I, I know, but then we're going to have to do another character corner. I'm fine with that. I, I want to do that. I just... I need time. I wish I had more time. No, we're, I'm going to do that. I, I, I definitely do. I, here's the thing. I've read bits and pieces of it because it's come up in other things. It's come, but I, I actually want to sit down and read all. Because here's the thing. Going back and reading something in human stuff, we got to infinity. And I was like, oh, I started reading that again. I was like, oh, that, this did happen. Oh, I need to go back and read this. So We got a road trip this weekend. I am taking all the Hickman stuff on my uh, tablet. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. So I think we covered everything with the Inhumans. Oh, we're good. I, I, we've gone further than I thought we would because I haven't touched Royals yet, but I do want to because it looks interesting. Yeah, it and does. And Al Ewing. Yeah, it, it, it does. 
and like I said, I like where they're going with uh, how how they're doing it, and they're and they're basically put the places back where they need to be put put at, and mm-hmm. um, yeah, I, and I think the Royals make sense on their own because they are a family and they work together, but they they've always kind of been really shitty leaders. And plus, with the uh, with Royals being in space the new humans can take their place on earth and you're not like, Hey, we're the real inhumans. You're not right. the real inhumans. Right. Right. Where's black bolt Medusa and shit. Like it, it, it removes them from that equation. Doesn't make them look like the, uh, the Kmart inhumans. Right. So, uh, definitely like that stuff. So, um, there you guys have it. That is the inhumans for, um, again, one of the short, didn't, didn't require that long. Again, it's not a lot of reading. Again, I, I say just take to some of the newer stuff. And I would say most of the newer stuff, not like the 2017 stuff, but most of the other stuff is all in uh, Marvel Unlimited. It's, it's all fucking there. So it's easy to find, easy to read. Um, and you can find even the bad stuff is there. So <laughs> it's, it's unfortunately all there for you. So uh, I, I know going forward, uh, we have... Uh, Batman, uh, the Batgirls, uh, Thor, uh, and the Summers Brothers. At some point, I, I'm not going to tell you the again. Obviously, some of the stuff is going to come closer to the, the 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 information that's coming out. I mean, the movies the movies coming out, but um, we'll be recording them all over the place. We'll be getting some new stuff there. Uh, Character Corner, iTunes, Stitcher Radio. Uh, leave us a five star review. We'll read it on air, and we'll go from there. Also, we have the Patreon account up now. Uh, MTR Network uh, is the Patreon. So patreon.com slash MTR Network. Sign up for premium there. Sign up for, if you're already a premium member, you can sign up for our live streaming shows. The more people we get, the more shows we do. Right now, we're just looking to do uh, insanity checks starting next month. If we get the $200 a month uh, on the Patreon, we'll be able to do, I'll be able to, I'll go ahead and get a Spreecast account. So that way we'll get more than just myself on camera and I can kind of, you know, it'll be, make it a little bit easier as well. And then as we get more and more uh, per month, we'll add more and more shows doing live. And who knows, maybe eventually we'll be doing character corners and uh, Super Tuesday recaps live. So um, back to that again. So, um, yep, just hit us up and we'll go from there. Uh, Deepon, what do you got coming up on the unanimous decision? Yeah, we got, oh, I can't even, I don't know what's going to drop. So. Just make sure you're here every every Monday. Put it in your ears. Name is decision. We're going to recap the in uh, the college football weekend. Talk about the NBA, NFL and uh, you know, give a unique take on all the sports news that's uh, fit to record. Six of sports, man. Six of sports. That's all we so, can do. Yeah. So, all right, folks. Thank you guys very much for listening. It's been a long recording session for me, so I'm gonna go pass out. So, thank you guys very much for listening. Until next time, we are out of here. Peace.